925photoshoptips.com. Today we're going to be talking about the brush tool. And uh, you can do a lot with the brush tool. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a blank document. And in this blank document, uh, we're going to first off show you some of the things that you can do with the brush. So uh, it's B on your keyboard shortcut. And uh, first thing we're going to do is show you all the different brushes that are in here. And now Photoshop comes with many brushes all the way from the, just a dot. Um, and then you can make your own specialty brushes. Uh, so basically if you want to just search through here, find a, a brush, and then you can just go ahead and start you know, adding just different dimensions to it. So you can get very, very creative with your brushes, or if you just want to just do a very, very basic brush, um, just select a brush and you can go to it, select different colors, and make whatever you'd like to have. Uh, in here you can also increase the diameter of the brush and the hardness of the brush itself. So. Uh, many different choices. The other thing that you can do is increase uh, or decrease the opacity and the flow and let me show you what both of those do. The opacity at 100% you've seen what that does. But now we're going to reduce this down to say 41% and you see it's really light and very transparent. And then the flow we're going to reduce this down and I'm going to put this back up to 100% so you can basically see how that whole thing goes. It doesn't flow all the way out so I'm going to go ahead and clear this out to a blank canvas and then I'm going to show you some of the different modes that we have over here. So the next one is the pencil tool. Now the pencil tool is very unique. You can get all the way down where you're just doing pixel by pixel. So I'm going to zoom in as high as I can go and with the pixel, you can physically just be making unique structures just pixel by pixel. So you can brush it out or you can actually just do it one at a time. Now I'm going to zoom in and show you actually how small this truly is. So that's 100%, it's just a dot. So very, very small. So you can do that with a, the pencil tool. And you can also, with the pencil tool, increase the size of it so that it's actually much bigger. So just a little bit different way to do the pencil tool. You can also change the opacity in here uh, so that it's not as dark. And then the last one I think is kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out again. Is the continuous brush. Now this works really well for like if you're dealing with someone's hair and you want to change the color of their hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a couple of different here we go, we'll choose this shrink the brush down a little bit. So I'm going to do something here and then we're going to go ahead and make a red one. Now the reason why I want to do this is this kind of gives you an idea what the hair would look like and actually I'm going to increase this up just a little bit. So make it a little bit darker. Now with the continuous color replacement tool they have many different selections to choose from here but I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and just like if you were looking at someone's hair you can go in and physically select by pressing the alt key the different color that you want or the different balance of color and then when we go in color you'll notice it still keeps kind of a transparency in there. And where it's dark, it makes it darker. And where it's lighter, it doesn't work at all. So like right here, I'm rubbing on it and it's not doing anything. So this is really neat if you want to get in 
to some coloring of hair or or skin tones there's a lot of variety that you can choose on this so that is the brush tool and i hope you enjoyed it